Hi, I'm C Money. I'm an expert level risk global domination player. And yesterday I competed in the Kill Pete Open Tournament. This is my perspective of my first game, which was a fixed classic game with alliances on. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below. It helps with the algorithm quite a bit. Hopefully I continue to progress well in the tournament. I had a very good first game and I hope you enjoy the content and feel free to uh, subscribe if you'd like. Enjoy the video. Peace. Oh, I am second. Uh, I have a play for South America. I, I don't really want to play for South America. And then what? Uh, the last guy is pink. That is yammer time. So pink is yammer. So I got the names now. I'll figure out who kills who, what place they get. All right, right away. Oh, I thought black. Or I thought pink was going to attack the the purple player, or the the yellow player. But uh, pink seems to have at least some knowledge of the game. Right off rip. What's up, Hab? Uh, oh, it is just Scandinavia, Chug. Uh, I don't like playing for South. Uh, South America, but I think South America might actually be my best play right now. I just gotta make sure I don't get stuck here. So I'm gonna place here. Purple goes next. Yellow is a bot and last. I gotta I gotta get the bot out, but uh, I think I have a turn to do that. So I'll hit here and then fortify. One of my seven. I don't again. I don't like playing South America, but. Um, it might be my best bet here. I don't imagine purple challenges me for it. Let's look at what we got. Uh, all right, pink is currently rated as a beginner. They've played uh, only one game. Oh no, that's a scenario game. Have they played any online games? They've played 22 online FFAs, only won three. Kind of a similar win rate to what I've got. I don't think uh, pink is gonna be that bad. Um, purple for bags is an intermediate, so that's what I'm currently ranked as, but I'm just shy of expert. They, uh, have played a lot of games, though, as an intermediate, so I'm thinking that they're not going to get much higher. Uh, click, to click purple. Um, but you see they've won 78 games, lost 284. Uh, red is also not a bot. Red is a grand master that is subbed into our game. So red's probably gonna win. They have played, they have won about 40% uh, or, or so of their online FFA games. So of course we have a Grandmaster in our group. I, I'm gonna avoid red like the plague. Um, obviously Grandmasters can still lose, but uh, <laughs> that's not, not the best. Uh, we have the bot. I'll accept, uh, I'm just gonna throw alliances all around. Um, I'll accept all of these. I mean, people can't get mad at me for attacking. I assume killing the bot uh, awards points, but I'm not entirely sure. The bot has placed in both Australia and um, well, the Grandmaster accepted my request. Fortunately, the Grandmaster is not really near me on the board. Um, he might make a play for North America, though, so I gotta make sure I don't get targeted by him. I might even wanna keep some African control, but we gotta take. Uh, Take notice of purple down here. And then black player General Min uh, is listed as an intermediate as well, a little bit below me. He has significantly more games played than me, though, so I'm, I'm not super worried about him uh, or the purple player. The pink player it hasn't played a lot of games, but that also might just mean they have a different account, and now they're treating this one as their main. This particular tournament doesn't allow people to play um, on alt accounts, so... If you're caught alting or whatever, I think you're DQ'd. Um, I think my best bet here is to let purples th three leave um, and take out this two here. Um, I don't like this black six that's chilling here. Black's positioning I don't actually like, but he's got a lot of big chunks. So um, let's let's let purple out. Um, that hit that that was kind of not great. That that hit two of my troops off uh, on a 9v2. Not great, but you win some, you lose some. Um, it does look like purple might play for Australia. I don't want to get too big, but if they do play for Australia, um, I, I wish they would move their three here. Okay, they are. They, they understand the, at least the basic premise of getting out of my way, 
Now I can connect my four, take my bonus down in South America, um, which should be good there. Uh, he's going to keep going. He's actually going to give me, looks like he's going to give me the bonus right away. Oh, he failed the attack. So that, him failing that attack is actually really good for me. Um, I imagine he's going to re-fortify his, he's going to fortify his seven on, or his five onto his seven. Um, which is strange to me because this makes it look like he's playing for Australia. But um, with the way things are progressing here, I wouldn't be surprised if Red... Yeah, Red's going to turn around. They're going to fortify the 7 under their 5. Oh, they're going to fortify under the 9. They're going to play for Europe, which is bold. But uh, if there's anybody in the game who can do that, a Grandmaster player certainly... Um, would be the one I'd guess. Yellow is a bot. It's a medium level bot, so it's going to try to take territory unnecessarily. Uh, part of the reason why I wanted to uh, take out that position here in Peru that Yellow had is because the bots will always attack your territory willy nilly, especially when they're the lower skilled ones, which is the one that we have in uh, in our game currently. So black has that six there. I'm not a huge fan of that. I think black's going to try to play for Africa, but they're going to be challenged by purple. Um, pink. It looks like pink's going to play for North America, which, again, I, I want to hold Africa, or, or I want to hold my South American position from Africa if I can, but I don't want to overly provoke people. Um, I don't think I want to take the full position down here yet um i'm gonna fortify this uh and and group these up first i'm not gonna get greedy with my bonus people people tend to try to break up bonuses too much uh and then my next turn i will step in and um and take my bonus with with two pretty fortified positions off the start it does look like purple's at least somewhat trying to play for um for Australia, which the longer you take to take Australia and the more resources you dump into it, the less likely you're going to have um, going for that. So purple and red are the subs. Really wish we didn't get a Grandmaster subbed into our game. I'm, I'm not a big fan of that move there. Um, I, I don't know why he wouldn't have attacked North Africa. Uh, I guess this is him thinking that maybe... Um, I'm thinking maybe he did that because he doesn't want to let me out, which is a little annoying, but um, that's fine. We will uh, <laughs> we'll deal with that one. Um, just just a little bit frustrating though that the fact that he's gonna kind of kind of sit on that. So um, pink, I like pink's positioning. Red, honestly, f for being as good of a player as they are is taking up a somewhat questionable splits here. Um, I imagine that this eight's gonna end up on the six and he might also play for Australia. Oh no, he's going back into Europe. So that's gonna be a player playing for Europe, um, which is hard to hold. There are There's a mode called blizzards, which essentially blocks off specific um, points on the map. Yeah, see, this is what I was saying about the, about the yellow bot trying to attack. Um, Attack positions. Uh, black? I don't like Black's positioning here. I, I hope they don't put a, a three on the six here. I hope they try to play for Africa, but... Um, they're going to hit probably my one right now. No, they're going to hit the yellow one. Okay. And fortify the, the four and the three together to gain better positioning in Africa. Uh, if I'm... Do I have a trade-in? I don't have a trade-in yet. If I'm purple i don't like the positioning that um that black's keeping nearby you got a six up top here you got the six down here five over here they can kind of easily converge um over the next couple turns into the center uh as far as my positioning over here i'm just gonna step in hopefully purple won't throw the game for both of us and uh and go for kill points only because that would be a little bit frustrating So I, I'm going to bank on purple um, kind of leaving me alone here, hopefully. Again, I don't want to get trapped. Yep, we'll throw hearts to each other. Um, 
I don't I don't like the position he's holding there. I, I, unfortunately, I think I'm going to need to challenge pink for North America, but I don't want to get too strong. Uh, this is the big problem I have with playing for South America is the only two entry points. What's up, PMA Yoder? Welcome to the uh, the chat uh, and the stream. Thanks for stopping by. South America, the worst con continent in my honest opinion. Honestly, bro, same. Uh, unfortunately, all of my material was over here. I was going to try to hold from Africa so that I didn't have to get uh, stuck in here by purple. But um, unfortunately, they're kind of uh, restricting me. So I think I'm going to need to... Uh, I'm going to fortify into Africa after this turn just so I have a place to move. Um, but at least I have a take off of uh, the eastern U.S. Uh, I don't want to give pink too many troubles, though. But I, I totally agree. You can call me Yoder. No problem. <laughs> What's up, Hi, Welcome to the stream. This Minecraft texture pack looks a little different. Uh, yeah, it uh, it does. This is uh, the Risk texture pack. It's a brand new texture pack. Um, uh, released with uh, Minecraft 120. So, <laughs> I, I don't like what Purple's doing here. They're kind of holding me hostage, but they're also not progressing their game very well. Um... I have a trade in next turn, and that trade in is actually off of Eastern U.S. So hopefully I can I can fortify back to to Mexico, and and I won't have to worry about I guess Central America. Um, that that black one there is a little frustrating. Purple just got slammed by the bot. So there's kill points in this game. I can actually kill purple, and I can set on the kill. I hope that black doesn't have a set because black might. Oh no, black can't kill purple. Um, this is really unfortunate <laughs> positioning for purple, especially with that black kill. This kill is basically free. I can hold, uh, I can hold an Africa position here off of this kill. Um, black's getting too greedy with their African position <laughs> that they're going to try to take up. Uh, the kill is basically free. I, I kill and I set and, uh, and, and then I sit on it and I have a way out this time. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So, um, there's almost no way I lose this with my continent bonus. I, I feel a little bad killing my ally, but he's on one territory, and, and there's points associated with, um, Western U.S. Uh, Indonesian, yeah, I'm not gonna get either of those. So there's points associated with kills. So, um, unfortunately for this player, uh, this is just a no-brainer move for me, picking up the kill and setting. I'm not going to get overly greedy though. I'll take, I'll take the Brazil bonus. We can keep the Ural for later, but I don't. Uh, I'm never going to have New Guinea or Kamchatka probably. Uh, this is going to keep me really strong. I don't think anybody's going to really want to mess with me right now. So we'll just set on both these positions and, uh, and I should be good. Um, I'm not going to get overly greedy for anything else, and I'll even back up my uh, my position here. Uh, do I play a lot of tournaments? I don't. Um, I've played Risk off and on for years. I recently um, discovered both Pete, who's the organizer of this tournament, and then also um, Digitalic is somebody who is a Grandmaster player who I've discovered. And uh, and watching Pete's videos, I, I found out the tournament was happening, and this is the first one I've ever played. So, um, kind of exciting. Never, never done this before. Um, so I, I'm trying my best and uh, I didn't get last place and I got a kill. So I've at least got some points in the first game. I think most newer players start with Pete. Uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely newer to like the competitive aspect. I hadn't played, I would usually just play with friends or, or uh, <laughs> against the AI uh, by myself. And then I discovered there was a ranked mode and I gave it a shot and uh, climbed to expert in like a matter of a week. Uh, but right now I'm slightly below that because I've had a bad, some bad luck of games in the uh, past couple, past couple days. Uh, Yoder says uh, Digi is really taken off too, which isn't surprising that you have probably seen a lot. Of I honestly, what's what's crazy is I actually discovered him first, so um, that that scares me a little bit. That 22 there from Black, although that was that was after a set, so. Um, the 10 over here is a little worrisome as well. Black's definitely strong, but, um, I'll, I'll keep my wits about it. Uh, but yeah, Digitalic is, uh, he was the first one I saw and it was, I hadn't watched any Risk YouTube content. I, I mean, I had the game and the premium version of it 
for a couple of, honestly, years, I think, but I had kind of ignored, um, what's this player going to do? I hope he doesn't sack for a bonus. He, I don't think he can full kill me. Pink, pink's, pink's a little worrisome. I don't, I don't like what he's doing over there. Um, yeah, uh, uh, me taking out this yellow doesn't actually feed it to anything, so I'm just gonna take my bonus and uh, and step back. I, I don't like what Pink is doing. Um, I was kind of the same. Started mainly with bots on my free time, and then in the last six months started playing. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I, I saw Digitalic first, and then um, and then discovered Pete not long after. Red, Red's a grandmaster. I think they're just going to go for the continent bonus, uh, which is super smart. If I'm black, um, I don't know if blacks looked at the skill level of this particular player. You might also bank on the fact that maybe they don't have a set um, on, on three. Yeah, I'll give you a thumbs up. Um, you might bank on, on Red not having a set on three, which... Um, Probably is something that they... Eh, the likelihood's slim. Have you seen any vampire chicken? I have been recommended vampire chicken, but haven't actually watched his stuff. So maybe that's something I look into. Um, I, is his content uh, learn learning-based, I guess? is, a, is <laughs> That's that's the big thing I like about both Pete and, uh, and especially Digitalic, is Digitalic will comment on what the... Uh, the players are doing that he thinks is is incorrect, or or, or what he's doing that will uh, will try to make it uh, uh, e uh, easier to learn for for newer players. Um, he's fun. My wife hates his laugh. <laughs> I'll have to check him out. Hopefully, it's not too annoying. Uh, it looks like so. Pink Pink's giving me the um, the heart. They've got three territories. They're trading in. Uh, they're going to go for a kill on me here, which uh, won't set them. Oh, no, they're going for the continent bonus. Okay. And, and this is actually... So uh, that's really good for me. It's scary moving forward. I, I don't know if I have a set. I don't have a set, which kind of sucks. Uh, please don't. Or he, is he going to two-point fortify this? He is. Okay. So th this basically means he's not going to... Um, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. He's not going to hopefully give me too much trouble because he split his stacks there. If anything, I, he should be worried about red, but maybe he's trusting the Grandmaster won't full send it. Um, I've seen a couple of the Risk uh, World Cup games. Um, I don't really want to step into this from black, so uh, pink's not going to set on me. They will have a bonus, but they'd be kind of throwing their game if they dunked on me over there. So I, I'm just going to take my bonus in Africa and, and step back. And, and maybe Black will do the same um, on this same spot. But I don't think he wants to give me too much room here to, to hit anything. Uh, yeah, I've seen a couple people's videos from the Risk World Cup. But um, Mitch on Risk is where you can see that. Okay, so there's... Yeah, because I think I've seen individual videos, and then um, if there's somebody that streams all the games, that's kind of cool. I'll, I'll be sure to check that out. Thanks. Okay, so naturally the Grandmaster... Um, and this is why... Uh, nobody wants to sack into the Grandmaster, piss them off, and then get rolled. Um, but after the bonus, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Black tried to make a, some sort of play here. Um, even a kill on the bot wouldn't be bad, but I think the bot's a little too strong. We're kind of, we're kind of unfortunately reaching some degree of a stalemate and, and black is the one that's worse for wear because they are, uh, the only player in the game right now without a bonus, which is tough. Sure. I'll run through the players. So this is, this is part of the kill Pete strategy tournament. Um, obviously the, uh, the players that I've got in my game. Also, I hope this guy doesn't try to... Yeah, he doesn't have a set, so he won't roll me because um, I'm on a set right now, which is only the uh, infantry, which kind of sucks, but um, interesting. Is Pink going to... I thought for a second Pink might send the bot. I like their positioning up there. I think that's pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm going to set on my on my infantry, which is a little annoying. I'm just going to put two here just as like a little... 
Just a little cushion. Uh, I'll look at the players after my turn. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Um, I can slowly start to take space here. We'll see what black does. I wouldn't be surprised if they keep playing off a bonus uh, near Europe. Um, I don't like the bonus that I'm repeatedly giving the best player in the game, but uh, I'm kind of just hoping that they go for a kill on somebody else before me. Uh, as far as the players, we've got uh, Yammer Time is a beginner with uh, only, what, 22 FFA games played. Um, okay, so he's going to... I don't know. He'll probably take his bonus. No, he's going to take his bonus on me. Interesting. Um, that's fine. I, I think Black might even take that back next turn. So so Pink's a beginner, but Pink clearly watches YouTube videos because they're doing the right strategy of, of uh, checking that out. Uh, I'm currently ranked intermediate, but... Um, uh, have peaked it in expert in my one week of playing. Uh, I killed this purple player, the bags. They were an intermediate as well. Uh, they had a lot of games played though, like more than myself. Let's double check that. Uh, Black's trading in on an eight. Um, let's see, 78, 284 loss. Um, so they're up to 30 over here, which is a little dangerous. Uh, Red is a Grandmaster. This is Spin Seeker. I am not aware of who they are, but I imagine they are quite good at the game if they are Grandmaster. Um, and have uh, particular rarer cosmetics. Um, they have won, I had mentioned at the top of the stream, uh, almost 40% of their online FFA games. I'm surprised Pink wouldn't... I wonder if it's getting close to the point where... Oh, I have another set. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on... Some... You know what, I don't want to give people a reason to kill me, so I'm just going to set now. Uh, we'll drop two more over here, just as a precaution. And then the rest over here. This is going to be a long game, I feel like, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so Red's, Red's a GM. Uh, unfortunately, we had like three no-shows for our game, so the player that was uh, supposed to be our sixth player, or any of the three players that were supposed to be our sixth player, did not show up, so we just have a uh, intermediate or medium bot. Uh, and then the black player is another intermediate player, uh, General Min, and they have played um, almost uh, about 553 games, it looks like, uh, and won 142 of them. So about a quarter, 20% uh, 20, 20 or so of the games that they have played, they have won. Somewhere in between a quarter and 20%. That is the, that is the rundown. <laughs> So Black's, Black's going to take their piece over here. Um, and not that this is too strong of a bot, but it's certainly too strong of a bot to kill. I don't like... I don't like what Black's done here. I doubt anybody feeds the kill to somebody else. Um, i got to be careful of this set over here. Again, I don't think I'm going to die anytime soon, but if Black sacks into me... Yeah, see, Pink, Pink doesn't want to feed that kill to to um to me actually i'm the would be the closest one to killing black and i could feed that kill to somebody else but i, I don't think it would be worth my time or energy so i'll just take my one and uh and back up black might be setting next turn uh they'd be sacking their game and, and throwing it to, to to somebody else i'm really hoping that in a tournament setting people aren't sacking games um and again, in this setting, I think red, <laughs> I think red's just gonna win. Uh, Pink's got a, a pretty good hold as well. Red is on the move. That is interesting. I think red's gonna go for the yellow kill here uh, and take Australia, take the damage from it. Although yellow did just set, so red is is poised uh, to set next turn. I don't think they can kill me though. Online FFA record is sort of weird. Obviously, the really good players will have amazing records, but some of us cut our chops on the ladder. My record is uh, 150 and 320. So, all right, so you win. I mean, you're winning like a third of your games. That's a little bit less than a third. Wow. Black has angered the beast. He is bonus hunting, too. He's sacking his game. He got frustrated and he didn't have the bonus. Oh, my God. Black just put a massive target on their back. And you know what's funny? Is because... Yeah, yeah, Red's saying the same thing. He's like, why why did he do that? Um, what's crazy about that move is it might just pay off. 
I'm I look at everybody's positioning. Who is in a position out of everybody on the board to to punish Black for the move that they just made? Maybe Pink. Pink's not gonna get through Red. Red's holding, uh, cutting the map in half. Red, Red stacked in uh, Middle East and is curious why he did that. <laughs> I know for for a GM, I'm um a little surprised that that guy made that move. Um. I'm not going to be surprised when Pink pulls this off to fight. Yep, yeah, Pink's pulling off to fight the 18 because uh, with some proper trade-ins and, and whatnot, he'll be able to cut through um, and, and get the kills. Uh, I don't want to give Red... I'm not going to provoke Red. I'm not going to provoke Pink. There's no point. Um, we're playing for placements and we're playing for kills. I'll, I'll let Pink have that kill. Um... I'm hoping that even with the trade-in Red's going to have here, they don't sack their game into me. I'm thinking they're going to go for the kill on Yellow. Um, but he not have a stack. He doesn't have a stack. So he's going to... Actually, this is a brilliant play. This is so smart. He's going he's gonna to sit on Iceland here. He's going to... I think he's going to sit on Iceland... Because if he sits on Iceland, he forces Pink to cut through yellow, lose troops if they want to secure the kill on black. So now black's super disjointed. Nobody's going to want to give that kill to other people, I don't think. And and red might even use that as an excuse that if pink hits black... Um, Red might use that as an excuse that if if pink hits black, they basically throw their game to, to red. Which would give me technically a second place finish. I don't know what the bot's points count is. Um, the bot's getting stronger, which is a little unfortunate, but um By the way, I'm uh, I'm certainly not trying to shill out for um for follows or anything, but anybody who's new to the chat who's here, like you, Yoder, or anybody else, if you want to drop a follow, uh, I stream more than just Risk, but I think I'm going to at least start streaming this uh, once a week, hopefully more. Um, it's been uh, very enjoyable to talk to you because I uh, don't have uh, <laughs> I don't have too many people who are knowledgeable on the game in the chat, which is fine. Uh, the, the point is growing an audience and, and entertaining and, and just playing the game and having fun. So, oh, Thanks so much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Um, again, not trying to shill out, but I know that like people do that in YouTube videos, they do it on streams, and they're just like, oh, as a reminder, and and I might as well remind. Is he gonna? Oh my God! So he takes the bonus. Oh, he's going for the kill. Oh, yeah, he'll set. He'll set on a kill. So it it's not completely uh, a bad. He's not gonna go for the kill. Ah. Uh... Pink might set. There's points and kills, man. There's points and placements. I can get there relatively cheap. Plus, a I'll have a double trade. It's yeah, I gotta go for it. It's called risk for a reason. Y you gotta, you gotta take risks. That hit me a little hard. Um, let me. I I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not going to win any games sitting on this, uh, playing scared. So, um, I'll, I'll do that. And, and Red's too split right now. That's why I went for it. Um, let's take the Brazil bonus here. I've got Congo and South Africa. Um, we're double setting. I'll save, I'll save South Africa. We'll bonus on Congo. Um, I can't chain this into a yellow kill yet. Uh. So I basically lost nothing from that. Um, I basically lost nothing from going for that kill. It's hard because I n normally like to talk strategy with people, but since this is a tournament, I'm holding back. That's fair. I'm, I don't. I don't want you to like give me. Um, I wonder if Red attacks my bonus here in Africa. I, I don't think he wants to poke the bear. I don't think it's worth it. Um, to try to hit me there because he knows I'll just take his bonus back. Especially if he plays split. If he fortif if he takes my bonus, fortifies the 29 onto the 18, I, I will leave him alone. But um, 
Yeah, I, I, I'll tell you what. I'll stream again this week in a regular FFA setting, and I will. Uh, and and maybe if you're around, I'll let you talk strategy. But I obviously I don't want the bonus uh, advice in a tournament. I, and I feel free to comment on a move I've already made. I will take any feedback in that regard. Um, or we can play a casual, true, we can play a casual game. I'm totally fine with getting uh, people involved and, and becoming more involved myself in the community. The bot, the bot leaves me alone? Oh, joy. I love this bot, man. That's so fun. Uh, purple on the, or pink on the other hand, I don't know if they'll leave me alone. They might, um, they might hit me, but I think it's going to cost them. Um, I, I think the issue is, Okay, I like the fact that you took the black kill. Good job. I'm shocked Pink didn't go for it. Uh, dude, anytime, if you have the chance to kill somebody. Oh, he's going for Australia. Okay, so I'm not on a set, am I? I'm not on a set. He's going to, I mean, he's not going to, I have no no chance of getting the kill down there. There's no point in, in trying to get that. But I feel like he's dangling. Oh, I am... <laughs> I'm card locked with this stupid. The <laughs> bots hate me too, bro. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Um, I'm I'm card blocked this turn. Okay, uh, I'll drop my nine here and, uh, <laughs> and I guess move my my five out. That's so annoying. <laughs> oh, what the heck? I don't know why Pink didn't go for that kill. Um. It was the perfect kill for me because I was on three cards. Um, and killing somebody on five is... Uh, the double set is like the best thing you can do. Um, it's a little annoying I got card blocked by the bot, though. <laughs> That's frustrating. Um, I'm not going to enjoy Red hitting me here. Red's going to hit the bot for me? Dude... Oh, he just tried to chip the bot, but it, it's... He uh, he doesn't want to give up too much to the bot. Because yeah, Red's card blocked. <laughs> Red's kind of card blocked by the bot, too. Um, I didn't want to say anything last turn, but I figured you get broken or blocked. Um, I did get blocked. I got blocked by a bot. Uh, I'm glad I didn't get broken, because any little bit of bonus I can get is nice. He, he didn't actually even secure the kill here. He just kind of lost troops, but... His his fortification of the forty six there is pretty pretty good. Um, I think Red and I are on the same page here. Um, Pink's got nine now because they took it. They took territory on that last one, um, so they're getting one extra from from their thirteen territories. But uh, I feel like we're at this awkward standstill. Where it's kind of playing to see who's going to kill the bot. Um, if Pink takes... Uh, didn't, didn't like that. <laughs> didn't like the, the adding to their 16 there. Um, if Pink takes Australia, I think... What, the bot's on four. Red's saying attack Pink. Um, what? Attack Pink. I, I, I... How? I mean, this is a Grandmaster trying to influence me. I'm not sacking into um you know what i'll i'll make it look like i'm attacking pink so i'll hit the five i'll get my card bonus i'll step back and i'll put it over here for safety purposes um i'm not sure that that's the best strategy but um this also allows red and i to kind of feed off each other i think and slowly build our armies over here. He's going to go for it. Is he going to break him? Wow. So, naturally, as as is customary when anybody breaks somebody in the game of Risk, which uh, I realized Red didn't want to do to me because the North Africa guard on the positioning that I have covers both the spots I can get broken. Um... Uh, I'll just, I'll reply back with attack pink because I, I don't want to mess with it, but, um, I think he just takes Oss here, right? I don't have a way to kill the bot. I can't cut through red to kill the bot, so it's not worth it for me. 
Pink's going to trade yeah. in. That's an 11. He might drop that and, and try to retake his, his territory. Red's not going to really have a good way to retaliate up there. Um, I just hope Pink doesn't sack his game, dropping his 21 troops that he's got. Or no, he's, he doesn't have 21. He's got 13. I, I was going off his bonus from the previous round. Uh, is he going to go for the kill on the bot? Get his kill, get his placement call of the day. I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous about red. If pink comes and tries to break me, he's just killing his game. I think he's going to, I think he's going to carve down into... No, he's stopping. Is he going to rotate that out? All right, I can take territory on this side without Red having to, to bug me. Um, five cards. Red might have a trade in. Uh, Red, I don't think Red can kill. Oh, that 75 can kill me, though. I'm going to, I'm, well, with bad luck, it could kill me. I'm just going to take my trade in now. Uh, we'll throw half. Uh, over here and the other half here. I don't always like doing a two-point hold, but um, and then I'm actually gonna fortify this onto Central America, and that that keeps that bonus off uh, off the table for anybody trying to get it. Ideally, um, Red is obviously if, if Red stacked better. I think he's worried about. I don't know. I think he's worried about me going in and and disrupting him. Um, and he's got to know that if he breaks me, I'm I'm gonna retaliate. So I don't know if he wants to sacrifice that bonus, but he he did set, uh, and Pink could set as well. I don't want to risk getting hit uh, too hard, but I think this might be Red. Is Red gonna break me? Oh, he opted not to. He's gonna take his territory on that side. Okay. So um, very clear that Red's a smart player. He he's not overplaying his hand. He's a little split on his troops. Yeah, see, that was what I was expecting. Um, is he 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 refortified because I think it's it honestly might come down to a, a position where both both pink and uh, and red try to go for that bot kill. Obviously, I'm in no position to to go for the bot kill, but um, we'll see if <laughs> if that stays uh, the same for. The um, for, for, for the remainder of the next couple rounds. What's up, Master? Welcome to the stream, man. It's good to see you. Playing some Risk Global Domination. <laughs> All right, so Pink Pink's gonna regain a bonus, but it's significant. So if you look at the bonuses here for anybody who hasn't played Risk in a while, who's watching, the Australia bonus is only two. The North America is five. Um, there's no way on God's green earth that red lets me have the bonus here um, in uh, in North America. I'm not going to try to take it. I think that would be foolish. Uh, I actually am getting one extra. Uh, I'm up to 12 territories, so I'm getting one extra per turn. I, I imagine I'm going to lose this one in the Middle East. So uh, let me just drop two on here just for safekeeping. We'll drop the rest over here. Um, and I will just slowly take territory, build up my cards, and uh, and hopefully not get wrecked. Uh, we're not on a set here. We got two infantry and a cavalry. Um, how you been, Master? Good to see you, man. Hopefully all is well. So Red Red takes his territory over there, and he's actually going to take more. Um, this leads me to believe he's going to stack that 21 on the 74 here. Oh, no, I see what's happening. This is an interesting strategy. I don't understand this. Red shouldn't have fortified. I honestly think... Is the bot going to set? So Red... From what I can tell, this is Red's attempt at blocking me from a kill on the bot. Which I understand. That's smart. The bot's going to break me here. No, the bot... It's, it's a medium level bot. That's why it didn't break me. Um, if it does, it's going to get, it's going to get wrecked. Red is quite the threat. Um, they're, them and even pink are, are both pacing me a bit on, uh, on troops. Is pink going to go, pink's not going to go for the, for the, the yellow kill just yet. Um, pink's not going to go for the yellow kill yet. Um, okay. That's fine. Uh, 
I want to leave this red here because I want access to attack if I need to. Um, so I'm going to branch. I'm going to actually branch up into, I think this is Ontario. Yeah. We're going to branch up into Ontario. Um, and I am going to refortify. So red can't attack me with a chunk over here. They can attack me with a chunk over here. So we're going to refortify the nine onto my 52 over here just to make sure that if somebody cuts through me, they aren't able to hit my second stat. What's up, Corbina? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. I think I saw you in uh, in someone else's stream earlier. I don't know. Your name looks familiar. That's all I'll say. I'm C Money. Welcome to the stream. I play a, a variety of games. Uh, Risk, Overwatch, Minecraft, whatever. We're, we're playing in the Kill Pete uh, Open today. So, um, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, the bot's going to break. Ah. Bots hate me. <laughs> the Discord... <laughs> The Discord message of the week. Bots hate me. Um, that's a little annoying to be broken by the bot there. Uh, I don't think it leaves the door open for anybody to hit me too hard. But So this is what I thought was going to happen. Uh, and this is why this game is going to take forever. Is because pink... <laughs> oh, do I have a set? I do have a set. I don't think it makes sense not to set. Uh, and actually, I can set... I can put my people on... Oh, well. I can put my people on Madagascar or elsewhere. Um... Hopefully the bot does not try to break me again. Uh, I'll set, I'll stack here again because again nobody can hit me on the other side there. Um, Corbina says you can kill the bot, not worth, but you can. Oh, I know. Um, at this point, yeah, I could kill the bot going through North America, but I, I think I'd lose almost everything. Or, or alternatively, I could have gone with my sixty there. Um, I don't, I don't think that would be worth it. Um, the bot's kind of just a distraction for the two of them. That's the first time it's broken me. Um, we were in Olive, then Mitch. Yeah, so I think I saw you. I saw uh, Corbina in, in Houdini's stream. I was watching that before. Um, <laughs> before the, uh, the, uh, the this game and before I started streaming. Uh, who got the purple kill? I, I got both the purple kill and the uh, black kill. Both kills uh, I have gotten so far. Um, those kills... <laughs> the, the, the purple kill was very much fed to me. The bot... Uh, the bot, like, took out... I think purple had territory up here somewhere. And the bot took that out. And then it was like, all right, I'm, I'm sitting on a trade-in with a continent bonus right next to the only stack purple has. And I just hit it. So, um, I would have killed the bot to get third and three bounties. Uh, okay, pink is, pink is breaking me, uh, which is annoying, but, um, I guess that's something that can happen. <laughs> uh, I'll just, oh, you know what? I'll take back with this though, so that I don't, um, I'm a little annoyed they did that, but that's okay. And uh, I'll just plop this over. Meh. I don't like how big their stack is. They got to trade in soon, so I... Oh, that's not what I wanted. A little distracted. I'll just keep that in there. Um, see many thoughts on game three of the finals? I mean, Jokic became the first player... Um, Jokic became the first player to, to get a 30-20-10 game, I think, in, uh, in uh, finals, so... Yeah, I, I don't, uh, for, for what it's worth, man, I, I don't actually want that particular advice because I have no interest in, um, oh, is he going to break me? No, don't open it up to pink hitting me. Gosh, dang it. He's opening up to pink breaking me again, man. Red's just as strong as I am. Um, it's all good, dude. I, I, I want to try to, uh, you guys can tell me all the strategy you want after the game, but, um. I want to try to get the win if I can. I, I've got the two kills, and the bot will almost certainly die before me at some point, I, I hope. Um, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, well, I guess... He, I, I don't know why he's not pulling the 20 out and just fortifying it as I am with his whole his whole stack. This is a technically a beginner player. They're going to... because Red opened him up to, to hitting me again, so they're going to hit me again, which is... Uh, annoying because he's not hitting red he's only hitting me and so red's gonna get the bigger bonus every time kind of forgot that rule you know they said i could stream any game as long as it wasn't fog of war uh, dude brother buddy 
Why are you doing this? Why are you sacking your game into me? I think Red's got some decency where... I'm not attacking Red! You, you stepped into my territory, man. All right, so this cuts him off from his, uh, his fortify. Uh, he's got a trade in. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna die because of it. This is prime hitter energy, dude. Here's a fact since we're talking tennis. Dude, tennis! Oh, we were talking basketball, but that's fine. I, I, I'm, uh, a tennis player. I will, you know what? I will say I am a tennis player. I was going to say I'm a tennis player in another life. That is not, uh, completely true. Um, I am, uh... Just more when I was younger. I don't play uh, enough now. Wimbledon match. Oh, my! your son was born before, uh, during, is that the, uh, like, 70, or, I, I don't remember the final score. It, it was a lot. NBA isn't basketball. I don't know what it is, but it's not basketball. I'm from Indiana. You know, I, I was very much of the take that the NBA is not good basketball when I was, uh, a couple years ago. And then, I don't know, I, I, at least the playoffs are fun. I'll say that. The playoffs are typically fun. So. Oh, that man, he stacked on a 116 there. Uh, I'm not crazy about that. Uh, given that nothing's knocking at my door over here, I swear, if, man, if this guy sacks into me, I'm going to be really annoyed. Don't do it. This is a tournament game, man. Don't sack. Just fortify. He's almost 13, end of June. Wow. Good for him. Um, okay, this is better. So, I really don't like... You know what I think is about to happen? <laughs> I think Red's allowing that cut through again, man. Uh, India or Alaska? I have a better chance of get, getting Alaska... Actually, yeah, I'm not going to go, probably, eh, no, I'll, I'll throw it in. Who knows, maybe we'll end up in India. Um, I'm going to take down here. We're going to leave that there. We're going to pull over some of this. I'll leave it at like 25, just in case. Red can't get to that without going through. Me. So I, I don't want to risk Red hitting me too hard, and I definitely don't want... Pink to be too strong next to me. Also, the same night that a tornado swept through our city and lost electricity at the hospital. That is crazy, man. Um, that is nuts. Attack red. Then leave me alone, man. Yeah, attack red. I'll give you the attack red. Yep. Get away from me. <laughs> Does red go for the points here? It's, it's a card reset. I don't know how much it's going to cost them. Um, they're definitely going to become weaker. I think they're worried I'm a little too strong. Oh, I hope that's not a refortification over there. Break yellow, refortify onto that three. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to that. If red does that, he's given he's given pink too much bandwidth to to break us. Pink is not weak enough in this game to justify that maneuver. Okay, he didn't do it. He did give Pink... Oh, uh, actually, I wonder if that was a move to help me. Because Pink's not going to want to sack... Um, my wife was delivered without any drugs. We had seven doctors in the room and a small fan to try to move air. I literally passed out. Almost passed. Dude, that is crazy. Your wife is a, is a hero. That is crazy. I, I'm wondering at what point does Pink go for the kill on... Yellow. Do they sack into me or do they go for the kill on yellow? Sacking into me, again, really annoying play at this, uh, in a tournament setting. So I, I hope he just goes and hits. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah. All right. That was the other option. I forgot. I, I mentioned that before. <laughs> this was a potential option on the table. He's going to hit my 25, which would be mega dumb. That is going to put the world's largest target on this man's back if he does that. Nah, no. Oh my god, you're so stupid. Oh, dude. Wow. 
why 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 bots hate me man <clears throat> and i you know what the worst part is is i can't retaliate i i it's a tournament man why are you playing like this I'll let Red collect his stuff back. Honestly, letting the bot get stronger here is probably better for me. I'm just gonna stack up like this. Red might be able to kill me. Red might go for the kill here. I don't have a bonus yet. He's... He might he might go for the kill. Um, although it would kind of sack, sack the game to pink if he goes for the kill. Oh, is he gonna go for the yellow kill? He's breaking me. I mean, he feeds the kill. If he kills me, he feeds the kill to... to Pink. Which I don't think is right. Pink is weak enough where... Yeah, oh, he's backing up. Okay. I mean, if Pink takes Brazil at any point, he's screwed. I'm actually fine feeding the kill. I think from a positional standpoint, it is in my best interest if I can hit pink hard to try to feed the kill. Although, if I feed the kill, I might not actually be feeding the kill. He might hit me. Red might just go for me, unless I'm stretched out enough, so... It's really no good play here. Pink sacking himself, sacking half of himself into me to try to progress the game is uh, certainly not a bad move, but a bit of a frustrating one. What's up, cool dude? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Good to see it. Former hype train conductor. It's got you marked as. Um, Jack Pink, yes. I've got a trade available, but because I have this... Uh, it's only going to get me six. I don't even think it's worth it. Um, do I go for the kill on yellow? Yellow's got four. I wouldn't double stack on it. I don't even have this continent. Um, I don't have enough time to go for the kill on yellow, quite frankly. Uh... Yeah, no, I'll just take here. If, if he punches into me, I think it just... It kills both of us. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You should do a betting on you winning or losing. I have channel points. I, I would do that, Master, but there's a 0% chance I win this game at this point. Um, this is basically... And this move here, this fortification over here, it's, it's a hope that Pink just backs off. That it scares him away. Um, but he might just sack into me. And if he sacks into me, Red's gonna actually Red might trap him here. Red's gonna Red's gonna break he's gonna break his chain here in, in eastern US or Greenland. Yeah. That's what I was worried about. Um, so now Pink can't back off. Oh. Wait. No, this actually is helpful. So remember before I said that it'd be in my best interest to try to feed the kill to red. Because it'd get me a higher placement point. Um, I think it is in my best. So I got another 12 trade in. Or yeah, 12 trade in if I include the North Africa one. Um, I mean, red, red... Red's a grandmaster player, right? So they're not going to... They're going to wait for somebody else to make a mistake. Unfortunately, Pink is insisting on making that mistake into me. Um, he sacks his game, by the way. If he attacks me here... I, I wonder if I can negotiate a... Uh, I wonder if I can negotiate a kill. Or you know what? I can just kill... Pink outright and take third, which is which is if Corbina, if you're still, you're yelling at your computer right now on what I should do. Um, 
I mean, it's a tournament. It's worth the placement points. He backed off my bonus. I could kill... I can't kill yellow, though. That's the problem. I... Mm. It's tough, man. I have never played in these tournament settings. I'm just gonna... I don't have enough time. I, I waited around too long. I don't have enough time. I'll take my bonus, and then I'll... He's on three. Hopefully he doesn't have a set. That's the other thing. I just don't want to kill him when he doesn't have a set, because I won't bonus it into another set. So I'm hoping... Red doesn't have a set here. They don't come for me. Or I'm hoping pink backs off. Pink leaves. I get a better bonus than them. He's gonna hit the three and break my bonus. No, he's gonna he's gonna take most of it. I'm hoping I would be saying a lot more, but I'm such a backseat. <laughs> That's fine, man. So so red's red's boxing me in here with the Africa bonus, which is I mean this is Pink's fault, handing red the win. Um so originally my route to kill pink was going to go up through yellow. Um, I actually think it's my best interest to go through red. You see, I'm not good at the game, so it would probably hurt more than help. It, it, see, if bounties weren't part of the... Uh, see, that now I was going to go through red before. But now... <laughs> I still think it's the best to go, to go through red. It's kind of hard to get over this way. Uh, 17 sitting there. Um... So they get plus six. They're gonna put it down here. If I hit their 70, I potentially lose myself the game. I don't know if I have enough to go kill a 30. If I get a good roll though, it might be worth the risk. So he's gonna leave. Every every troop he, lose, he loses on his exit is worth it for me. I, I really don't, I don't have, yo, what's up Jay Not? Thanks for the follow, man. Um, I'm going for it, man. I'm taking the placement point, or I'm taking the, the placement point bonus of getting third. And that was, that was a good enough roll. I, I'm going to have to hit the 11, but I got to go faster. We got to hope for a good roll here. Oh, we got it. This guy, he sacked himself into me. I'll take my third kill of the game. I'll take third place. I mean, unless he, he might kill the bot first. Having, having decency. Um, good game. I, I'll take the, I'll take the points. It's. <laughs> bot is, a, yeah, bot's a real bot. I mean, I don't know how the bot factors into placements. And he might be a decent guy and kill the bot first. Um, which he can totally do if he wants to. He, he might kill the bot first. Which would, it would be a bro move. It would be a bro move if he kills the bot first, but I guess we're gonna find out what he kills first. Um, all right, so, so sixth place was purple. Oh, what's he going to kill first? Oh, he's such a bro, dude. I love this guy. This guy's such a bro. All right, so I, I come in second. Um, plus three, three kills for me. Red, uh, spin comes in first. GG's, dude. He saw you guys screwed over. He did. I mean, he saw what Pink was doing and how much of a problem it was causing me and letting him advance that he had the decency to kill the bot uh, before me, which I s totally appreciate. That's actually such a bro move.